Now let's see how to solve an absolute value equation. We can simply solve it by using the logic that is absolute of x is equals to 8 has two solutions. Either it can be positive 8 or minus 8. So remember to solve an absolute value equation. We simply take the expression inside the absolute value symbol either as positive or negative. So for example, we have absolute of x equals to positive x if x is greater than 0. And it is negative x if x is lesser than 0. And it is 0 for x equals to 0. Now let's see how to solve this absolute value equation. We have absolute of x minus 2 equals to 5. Now the inside expression that is x minus 2 can be either written equals to 5 or negative 5. So when x minus 2 is basically positive, this absolute gets open as x minus 2 equals to plus 5. On solving we get x equals to 7. Similarly, if we take x minus 2 as negative, then this absolute now can be written as x minus 2 equals to negative 5. So that makes x equals to negative 3. So hence two solutions are 7 and negative 3. So let's see how to check it out. If we plug in 7, we get 7 minus 2 absolute that is absolute of 5, which is simply equals to 5. If we take negative 3, we get negative 3 minus 2 absolute equals to negative 5 absolute. That means simply equals to 5. Now we remember that absolute of x is basically the distance between the x and 0. So if we have absolute of x less than 8, then any number between negative 8 and 8 will be the solution of this inequality. So remember that we have negative 8 and 8. So any number inside it is the solution of absolute of x less than 8. So similarly, we can use the same property to solve the absolute value inequalities and equations. Now remember, while solving absolute value equation and in inequalities, if the absolute value expression is lesser than the constant, then that means we can write down this as ax plus b, that is the inside term of the absolute value function, lesser than c and greater than negative c. Similarly, if we have lesser than equal sign over here, everything is going to be the same, but over here we will write down lesser than equal sign and over here we will write down greater than equal sign. If we have absolute value function equals to some constant that is c then we can open down this as ax plus b equals to c or ax plus b equals to negative c similarly if we have absolute value function greater than c now then that means we will write down this as ax plus b greater than c or ax plus b less than negative c similarly if we have greater than equal now so over here it will be now greater than equal and over here it will be less than equal. So remember if the absolute value function is greater than the constant then that means we will be using or over here. Otherwise we will be using and. Now look at this example. It says absolute of x minus 4 is less than 3. So that means x minus 4 is positive and x minus 4 is basically negative. So we will take absolute of x minus 4 less than 3 now as x minus 4 less than positive 3 because we have taken x minus 4 as something positive. So now on solving we get x less than 7. So in case we have x minus 4 as negative then that means the absolute now can be open as x minus 4 greater than negative 3. So on solving this we simply get our answer as x greater than 1. Remember over here what we have done we have reversed the inequality sign because x minus 4 was negative. So now the solution is all the real numbers greater than 1 and less than 7. So this can be written as x lying between 1 and 7. We can simply solve the inequalities with the help of the options also. 
Let's see it over here. For example, we have to solve x square minus 7x plus 10 less than 0. Over here the options are given x less than 2, x greater than 5, x less than 5, x between 2 and 5 or both 1 and 2. So let's check out its solution. 